TikTok number 38. And welcome to my minivan. I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take the bedhead anymore and lack of makeup. So here I am in the back of my minivan. And actually I'm back here because I want to talk to you about a little bit about the whole concept of minivan mogul and why it's so important to me and why I want it to be important to you, why I think it matters for you. And so what better place, what better place to do that than in my minivan? Now let me give you a brief description of the inside of this minivan. It is covered in old sand from vacations and there's definitively a steel Cheeto under the seat and <laughs> there's a 2014 blue Sienna. Now I don't want you to be jealous and that is a, that's a surgical mask waving in the wind back there. <laughs> Welcome to COVID times. Um, don't be jealous of my 2014 Toyota Sienna that's got like the backup camera that's this big that you can't really see what you're doing. It's really small. <sighs> this minivan it's been my ride or die since, hey gosh, well before I started practically speaking. And it, for the longest time, for the longest time, I was super ashamed of driving a minivan when I left the medical world and I came into the corporate world. My fundamental belief was. CEOs don't drive minivans, people who are important don't drive minivans, that I couldn't, I could not reconcile being both an executive and a minivan driving mom. And I felt like I had to cho choose between the two. And I felt like that I couldn't, I, somehow or another, I couldn't be successful. I, it just like, I wasn't going to, you know, level up or be at the next level until I had some big fancy car. And it really played into a lot of the confidence and self-esteem issues that I had. I would try to hide this minivan. I don't know if you've ever tried to hide a minivan, but it's not really possible. <laughs> I would walk out of buildings and I would, like if a client was with me or somebody that I didn't know very well was with me, I would try to walk to somebody else's vehicle so they wouldn't see that I am what I am, which is a minivan driving mom who also is a kick-ass coach, business owner, leader, inspirational freaking person that I am. I tried to bury that for a long time. So I bought the fancy suits and I got my nails done and I, I did all the things and I tried to use all the businessy words and I, I tried to shove myself in this box that said, I can't be both. And that's a terrible place to live. That lands your butt in therapy. Go for sure. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> that land your butt in therapy is not good. Lisa's my therapist, by the way. Yes, I have a therapist. I'm going to say that out loud too. Ooh, can't say that out loud because heaven forbid people think you're crazy. <clears throat> Y'all, I created Minivan Mogul. I ended up writing this book through, I, I, mean, I don't have all the time to tell you these things because I know that confidence and communication and public speaking, my business, go hand in hand. I also know that confidence does not come from what you drive. It does not come from what you put on your face. It does not come from what you put on your body. It might help. Those things might help a little bit, but the minute they go away, then where does your confidence, confidence go? Hmm, down the crapper, right? If you are reliant upon what you drive, what you wear, what you rub on your face, or in, if you're reliant upon those and they go away, where does your confidence go? So I'm on a mission in my minivan to help women especially, guys too, but women especially um, own their own version of confidence, whatever that looks like for them. I am on a mission. So I've got lots more to tell you about how I got here and in the process and tons of stories. So for the next week, I'm going to be sitting here in my minivan doing minivan bed talks <laughs> and sharing with you what I know, some of the rules that I've developed along the way in order to help me stay on the path of confidence 
and continue to hone my confidence so I am able to be the person that I want to be and be freaking successful at it because ironically more successful as the minivan mogul than I was as like uppity tight scared Alex in a very nice white house black market suit God love her. God rest her soul. We're going to put up a picture of her later and give that girl a hug. And some Cheetos kisses. Dang. That was rough. So, welcome to my minivan. I have a rule, which is there is always room for more in the minivan. There's always room for more people. There's always room for more thoughts, more (laughs) fun, more laughs, and more success. I am the minivan mogul. I'm excited to be here and sharing all of this with you. I cannot believe we are at like bed talk number 38. This is insane. It's crazy. And I've had so many people come along for this ride and I just want to say thank you. So I will see you for tomorrow's bed talk. I'm going to see if I can get Max. Max is in here. He's very confused. Max. I don't know if we're going to be able to do dogs eating Cheetos until he realizes that he needs to sit back here with me. I did not train him or warn him for this event. So he thinks he's going for a ride in the VAN. We call it the VAN in front of him. Also, her name is The Van. It's very original. Um, but anyway, are you going to come here and get a Cheeto? He says no, but you should see him because we have the exact same hairdo at this point. We both look like poodles. All right. So I will see you tomorrow for more minivan mogul confidence bed talk chats. (laughs) Whatever, that's awkward. (laughs) All right. I'll see you later. Bye.